Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Tuesday's tour and welcome to part two of my craft room tour series. Last Tuesday, I did an overview of my craft room, and I'm going to include that video in the description box below, just in case you haven't had a chance to see it. And today is part two. I'm going to dig in and get into detail on certain sections of my craft room. So I hope you enjoy. As I enter my craft room, I'm going to get started with what I have stored directly behind my door. So right behind my door, I have one of these shoe organizers and I bought it from Walmart and they're fairly inexpensive. I don't even think this was like, uh, maybe it was $15 or something. Anyway, it holds quite a few of my punches and uh, since it's clear, you can see what's in there. So I have flowers, butterflies, uh, shapes, ovals, square, uh, circles. Um, I also have um, these punches that are magnetic and you can place it anywhere on your paper and you're not confined to an edge or anything. So I have those and then much smaller punches in the bottom pockets. And I also have my Memdex Punch, which I love so I have those and a lot of the little tiny punches my sister has found at thrift stores also hanging from the doorknob is this cool cool pouch not only does it have music notes on it it says red white and blue or red hot and blue which fits the theme of my uh, craft room so that's what I have directly behind my door as uh, this is directly behind my door on the wall. I have some artwork. Uh, on the top left right there is a paint pour by my dear friend Tammy. And the next one below it is from my dear friend Karen. Her, and her channel is uh, Karen789. And then this, my uh, BFF Deb and I went to a paint class. And that's where they have the drawing already sketched out for you and you just paint it. And that's the scene I selected. And I kind of did a little bit free form on the leaves. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that class a lot. So, okay. So I'm gonna show you my first toolbox. Um, I, I also have a dry erase uh, calendar right behind my door. I didn't want to focus on it too much because I have family birthdays on there. And also right behind the door is a large, large canvas that I purchased and I have a project in mind, but that was a while back and I haven't done anything with it. All right. So on this first toolbox, here's this first toolbox. This was my first toolbox that my husband got me. So there is that. And, uh, let me kind of show you what I have above it and then we'll see what's on the side and in it so above the toolbox i have a picture of nashville yes my favorite place and then there is my red guitar that is a lamp that my um dear dear friend tim he's in the band gave me um i usually have a candle going so that's what this is right here it's a candle it's almost out that's an Avon bottle that's shaped as a um, uh, guitar, and I got that in Nashville, actually, on one of our trips. Here's some little globes. One is Nashville, and one is Memphis. Yeah, I love Tennessee. And then here's our band picture. We took that several years ago, so we thought that was pretty cool. And then this... Uh, uh, oh, I forget what you call these. A patch. Yeah, it's a patch. This is from my high school. I got a patch for choir. And our high school was West Mesa. And the colors happened to be red, white, and blue. I also got a medal 
for choir. So that's what's on top of my toolbox. The cloth that's on it, my dear friend uh, Camille uh, sewed that up for me. So I thought that just went really nice. And it's just a, a really nice patriotic pattern. All right, on the side of the toolbox, oh, you're going to find some of my favorite car things. So here is a few of the cars I like. Uh, I like a uh, Challenger, as you can tell, a purple Challenger, yes. And then, of course, Wonder Woman, my favorite. And then coming down, this is Leah Pritchett. She is a race car driver. Uh, there is, is that her car? I think it is, yes. I met Leah several years ago when she was in Denver. So uh, we were walking around Golden, because that's where they have the Mopar uh, kind of cars on the strip uh, party and uh, I got to meet her and I have a picture with her which I eventually want to print that picture and put that up here all right also on the side here's a couple of tassels one is from when I graduated high school which is the red white and blue and one is when I graduated from the University of New Mexico so I have those and then the last thing I have hanging from my um, toolbox is this picture frame I recently got from Dollar Tree and I showed it in a haul and uh, just pictures of my parents and I oh I have one more thing my dear friend uh, Janet sent me that patriotic metal hanging uh, decor piece that's the bicycle with the, the flags on it so that's what I have on the side of my red toolbox now let's peek in it. So the very top, this flips up and all I have in here are uh, boxes that you get stamps in, like from Stampin' Up or Close to My Heart. I save those boxes for uh, you know, mailing out things to other people. I have a couple of magnets, one I got from the M&M World, and then this one Oh, I know someone sent me this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can't remember. Um, and that's kind of a real cool one. And then that one as well. So let's take a peek at this first top drawer. This one has actual tools and a uh, lighter for lighting my candle. So I have a tape measure, uh, a screwdriver set, which I got at Dollar Tree. These are little wrenches that you get with different things, and I just need to save them there. A knife. Uh, let's see. A hammer. And uh, just little screws and stuff that go to things that are here in the craft room. This next drawer has, like, my pliers that I use, uh, my wire cutters, and this is a wick trimmer for trimming wicks on your candle and a wick dipper so when you're going to extinguish your candle you uh with the little hook on this device you push the wick into the wax and you extinguish the flame and then you don't get all the smoke so uh yeah so i actually when i sold candles i actually still have a lot of the wick trimmers and wick dippers um that I have in my stock. If anyone uh, is interested in purchasing, it, purchasing any of that, let me know. All right, this next drawer just has kind of a catch-all thing. Here is um, an X-Acto knife set, some little staples with my little stapler, I think is back here. Yep, more staples. Uh, here's a stamp that was for my candle business, makes perfect sense. That was the name of my candle business. And then here's the little skunk. Um, I guess I could actually still use that. This was the little skunk that was our little logo. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and then uh, a little box of pins. So if my glue gets stuck in the lid, I can poke on that. Um, and then this was my first Rosemary's You Rock art, which my husband put together from just letters you can make the stamp. So it wasn't anything that, that was actually purchased or anything. 
All right, next drawer, nothing too exciting here. Here is the, um, oh, I don't, now I'm gonna forget what these are called. These are um, those page uh, protectors for your uh, stamps that you can protect, you um, keep your stamps and dies in. So they're those envelopes, not envelopes, uh, page protector things. Here are, um, for a binder, your pages. Uh, magnetic, magnets, uh, sheet magnets, magnet sheets, magnet sheets, that's what you call them, for my dies. A uh, little empty container. And then just extra little bags and pocket protectors. Uh, let's see, what else do I have back here? Oh, these are, like, if you're uh, sending a photo in the mail, you can put one of these little sheets to protect your photo. So that's what I have in that drawer. All right, here starts the stamps. I have a bunch of wood mount stamps, and that's what these are. These are all the alphabet in various sizes. And uh, I even have an itty-bitty little set right here. So that's the first drawer. Next drawer are all words and sentiments. And uh, I'm in the process of stamping all of them down on um, blank paper, just, just copy paper, and putting them in a binder. So anyway, they sit in these drawers just nicely. Just really nice you know they you can't really stack them because the drawer won't shut but they sit in there really really nice next drawer is some more words and sentiments and just all sorts of different things um, friendship ones there's my Wonder Woman stamp invitation to make invitations to and from all of that so just a bunch of those I tried to group them all together like all of these right here are faith based um, stamps like one says count your blessings uh, in fact that one says it <laughs> so those are all faith based kind of uh, words all right we're moving down here are all my bears, and this drawer is a little bit deeper, so I could stack two high. So that was good for the bears, because I've got a lot, a lot of bears. And I just love teddy bears. All right, next drawer down, which is, um, so these are a two-piece cabinet. This is the top piece, and then this is the bottom piece. This one are all smaller stamps and what I did to kind of keep them a little bit more organized or in place is I got these trays if I can pull one out I got these trays they are a three divided tray organizer from Dollar Tree the clear ones and I put all the little stamps in there and it keeps them you know from really rolling around um in the drawer so let's see if i can stand show you so this one is more of uh you know a nautical theme kind of section um just different little sets and they just fit in these and i can fit one two three four five of these trays right across and they fit just right and then on the end, I still have room to put a few more stamps. So that's what's in that drawer. All right, moving down another drawer. I have like animals. So here's all the cats and dogs. And you see an owl, a llama, a squirrel. If it's an animal, it is going to be in this drawer more like more than likely. So that's what I have in this drawer. 
Okay. This drawer is um, what I call kind of Americana. So, you know, you got your uh, key. There's some, uh, an ice cream cone, a smiley face. So just a mailbox. I love those. I got these tags with with a set, and I will move those. I got them with this set, and I got these at Joann's. These two uh, stamps that have the ladies, they're gorgeous. And you got that with a little ink pad and these tags. Uh, here's a bow, uh, a watch, um, of a camera, little tea sets. Cute, cute stuff. More tea set stuff on this side. A little fence, a house. Here's a long fence. <laughs> this has got to be like, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 inches long. So that's what that is in this drawer here. Okay. All right, let's keep looking further down. This drawer has, um, I have a few from uh, our faith. We, I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I have a stamp set. Um, so here's of the Salt Lake Temple, uh, Christ, um, the Tabernacle. Let me see, there was something else with this too, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, I'm trying to pull it out. So I'm to... Oh, well, that's the Salt Lake Temple. Um, yeah, so that was kind of fun to have. It's really fun to have. Okay. And there's some praying hands. I love those. And then here is birthday. All to do with birthday. Happy birthday. A party hat. Um, a present. Uh, candles. Just anything to do with birthday I have right here. All sorts of different uh, happy birthday um, words. So, and this one's a deeper drawer so I can fit too tall so I can stack them and here I have one of those organizers and I put it this direction because I had this set back here already in a box I also have this race car set and then on this side right here is music all music stuff here so let's see music all the way to the and I try to keep them grouped together more birthday right there and then right here this is the oddball of the drawer it's this um, stamp that actually stamps um, a postcard and those are kind of fun to do I was looking at what that was it just jumped out I think it was birthday balloons or something okay so that's what is in this drawer I'm going to put this back. There we go. That's fun to make your own postcards. Okay, this drawer has, I believe, if I'm looking at this, like events, like baby showers, uh, wedding, and stuff like that. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think it's stuff like that. Here's this baby on that end. These little packs I like. I got I got them from Michael's. There's another one over here I just saw. So they're kind of fun to have. I got those. I usually get them in the two dollar spot. Graduation. So that's what's in that drawer. Next drawer down. Here is holiday not christmas but holiday <laughs> easter is on this end i have a bunch of cute bunnies okay and i even have the little stampers from dollar tree that's what those are and then fourth of july love that i love this flag i love that flag 
and then Moore's Fourth of July, um, right here. Let's see, some more uh, stamps from Dollar Tree, and then Halloween. I don't have a lot of Halloween, but you know that's okay. Uh, and then also a little bit of Thanksgiving. All right, moving down. <laughs> This is all Christmas, and this is a deeper drawer, so I can stack three, four high. A lot. So there's just a lot of Christmas stamps. A lot. And I used quite a bit of them this year that I just kind of didn't really organize it that well when I put them back uh, in the drawer this past Christmas. They're kind of pretty good, but... They're not laying in there really, really perfectly. So I need to go through those before Christmas time rolls around and get those all laying in there correctly. This is a fun stamp. I mean, I just have tons of Christmas ones. Just so much fun because I love making Christmas cards. So there is a peek at the Christmas stamps. That's the last, well, no, that's the last drawer that has stamps. Here's the bottom drawer. This one has cardstock and envelopes. These are all envelopes that my dear friend uh, Deb gave me. She uh, works for a company in the mall and they throw these envelopes away. So I have blue ones, red ones, and green ones, and I've just done projects with them or I just use them and mail them. I mean, use them when I mail things. So, and more cards. This is already cut. Uh, cardstock right here and I'm not sure what size of card this is but this is not your standard card it's a, a larger card I think it's like a five by seven so I have white card cards already ready to go folded and scored with the envelopes and then back here is just different sizes of envelopes oh my gosh when I was sorting through these envelopes I didn't realize there were so many different sizes. It drove me crazy. Uh, I was just trying to group them all together, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at how many different sizes there are. And um, I shared some with my uh, dear friend Janet. I gave her some because I'm like, I can't have a bunch of different sizes. It's driving me crazy. Uh, right here, I have these to make shakers. I have a few which I've not attempted. I haven't attempted to make shakers. I have different ones. I have the butterflies and the mason jar ones. Uh, my dear friend um, Michelle sent me the mason jar ones, but I have the butterflies and I think I have something else. There's actually a sample that she uh, sent me how to do it with the shaker in it, with the shaking stuff in it. Um, then I have tags upon tags. So I have the chalk right tags and the uh, hearts, the um, square scallop ones, more hearts. Um, these ones are, oh those are Christmas ones. I keep all my tags in here regardless if they're Christmas or not. Just plain tags here I think. I'm trying to see what these are. Yeah, just mason jar tags. Just a bunch of tags, and I use these. Um, then these tags that are here on the edge right here are the ones from Michael's, and they are nice tags. Um, they are like a really uh, cardboard kind of tag. So I like those. And then I have a whole pack of these mason jar tags right here that my husband ordered for me. And... Yeah, just different tags, uh, Christmas tags. All right, uh, these are more of the Michaels tags, but they're the oval shape. Oh, no, that's not one. <laughs> this, this here. And then they have just the beautiful de decoration all the way around. This is one I um, distressed and made. Just kind of stuck in there. And then um, just more um, tags right here. So a bunch of tags. So that's basically what's on the very bottom of this drawer. Okay, that is it for this red toolbox. I want to show you, the last thing I'm going to show you 
is what I have on the side of this toolbox. And then we will end this tour or this segment of the tour. So right here on this side of the toolbox, I have a dry erase board and I write down what projects I'm going to do and what friend mail I'm sending out. So it reminds me if I have a, a friend mail to send out to so-and-so, I put their name and what I'm deciding to send out or make. Here's a magnetic little clip. Um, here is <laughs> here's a list uh, magnetic list pad that I will jot some notes. Now this is kind of uh, let me show you what I was going to say. This is kind of fun that I just recently discovered. I saw this on somebody else's tour. These are from Dollar Tree. If you remember these hangers, they're for scarves. And they have eight, no, let me think, ten little circles. Anyway, I decided to put my scraps of ribbon on there. So when I'm making a tassel right to the left of this, uh, I can look here and pull a scrap out to add to my tassels. And I organized them in uh, these colors, so pinks, peaches, yellows, greens, blues, and again, there are, so there's this section, but then underneath it, there's another section right here. You also have the hooks, but I didn't use those. And then I did this second one in whites, creams, blacks, and reds. Again, it's so easy to just reach over and say, oh, I could use a little piece of that in my tassel. And it's so nice to see them all out. I don't have to dig in a, a container or a box for it. So I've used more of my scrappy ribbons uh, having them out like this. I'm gonna move that back here in a second, but I wanna uh, point out a couple of things right here before I end. I have a patriotic towel that I use to wipe my hands if I get my hands wet. It's a towel from Dollar Tree. I think I got it last year. And then the last item I want to share with you, this is from my dad's wreath uh, at his funeral. And it says, um, it says, that one says dad. And I think this one says, I love you, dad. If I can get the lighting just right. Yeah. Love you, dad. And I have it right there. That means a lot to me. My sister works for the commissary at the VA, and all her uh, co-workers made this beautiful, beautiful wreath for our dad's funeral, and these were the ribbons on it, so I have it hung right there. So let me move my other hanger over to its hook, and I have these on magnetic hooks because these... Um, this um, cabinet, this toolbox is metal. It's neat because I can hang stuff off it with magnetic hooks. See if I can get that off there. Well, see, now I just took one off. Let me see if I can put it back on. So that is my first toolbox. And this is, um, again, right uh, almost directly behind me. So if I'm sitting at my desk, it's just behind me to my right. So that's what I wanted to show you today on Tuesday's tour. I hope it gives you some ideas and inspiration. Thanks for joining me on this segment of Tuesday's tour. I hope this gives you some ideas, inspiration on how to store your punches and wood mount stamps. I know these videos on Tuesday's tour are going to be slightly longer than my average videos, but that's what craft room tours are about. Yeah, peeking in and checking out all the goodies. Thanks for joining me today. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.